Oh yes, a glorious day here in the end times. What do you think, little dog? Looking out the. Here is my life on my first full 24 hours of being an official old man. Oh yes, gee, what a surprise! A eh? here on the first full day of fall of 2021 we have our first flash flood watch here in the Finger Lakes of New York yes our first flash flood watch on our first full day of fall how many fucking flash flood watches did we have uh, I noticed right before the battery crashed in my computer that looks like Hurricane Sam has uh, formed. Now I predicted that Hurricane Sam was going to flood out the Hambone Hilton on my birthday which was yesterday. I, uh, so I missed that prediction but uh, I'm still going to predict that Hurricane Sam is going to kick some ass somewhere probably uh, New York yes I also uh, we have our little friend back whoever the fuck is this goddamn rat or this chipmunk or whatever the fuck he is taking refuge back in the tiny house so I have been in this bed now for over 12 hours I have uh, managed not to leave this bed thank God for chamber pots although Sancho Panza does not have a chamber pot but he has a bladder of steel this little dog <coughs> probably the last time he peed my guess is 17 hours ago and if he got up right now he would not go out there and go pee so uh, the bladder of steel so anyway here I am looking at what my future looks like uh, and just Thinking about, hmm, what does today hold? What am I going to do today when I get out of this bed? So, uh, this is a decision I will, I mean, if I get out of this bed, uh, not when, if I get out of this bed, exactly what does my day hold? this is it this is my day this is my day and this is my life put that damn thing down I don't even know or care what that camera this is uh, this is Hambone's life in the end times figuring out what the fuck to do with this day with this week uh, Since my great birthday party was uh, gone down the fucking toilet tomorrow night, I will uh, say I, I one thing that I did get that my my great email about those goddamn uh, tickets to the Chris Smithers show. I got a full refund from those motherfuckers. They sent me a full refund, so at least, at least uh, I got well paid for that email telling those motherfuckers where they could stick their fucking mask mandate. So that's out of the way. So I'm lying here uh, listening to the rain and listening to the 
crickets in my ears. I noticed that, I mean, just now I have, unfortunately, this, you know, the also ringing of the ears starting off and on. I, I honestly don't mind the uh, crickets. Uh, they're not exactly crickets. I will call them the katydids. Uh, you know, 24 hours a day I have this background noise, this kind of this vibration. It's hard to explain. Not exactly a vibration, not exactly katydids, but 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I guess for the rest of my life, I'm going to have these fucking insects, basically, uh, singing in my brain. So, uh, anyway, that's cool, I guess. I, have a, I can live without this ringing in my ears, however. Uh, so I am sitting here thinking about, so, <clears throat> I don't know whether to recommend this movie that I saw on Netflix. That's, of course, my entire, my evenings now are uh, Netflix. Obviously, one of the main things I do with my life is watch Netflix, and I don't know how the movie My Suicide slipped through the cracks. Uh... If you have not seen My Suicide, it was made in 2009 by a bunch of actors and directors and shit that I've never heard of. Uh, some guy named David Lee Miller was the guy behind this whole thing. And uh, it was actually, uh, I, I was actually flabbergasted uh, at the beginning of it. Uh, the first half of the movie is is one of the... It, it's a teen... It, it, it's kind of one of these movies made for teenagers. It's specifically talking about teen suicide. And uh, it unbelievably, it was, it was a comedy. They call it a dramedy. A dramedy about teen suicide. And the shtick is, so the kid... You know, he walks around, uh, he's not a YouTuber, it's, it's unclear what he does with all these videos he makes of his life, but he basically chronicles his miserable, catastrophe-lidden, depressing life, uh, makes these videos. Now, it's unclear, as I say, what the fuck he does with all these videos he makes. <coughs> but apparently, I guess you're just led to understand that it's going on some sort of social media platform. So he's kind of like a 17-year-old version of Hambone Little Tail. So he, he's this depressed teenager uh, just chronicling uh, all of the various, uh, you know, depressing episodes in his life, his fucking pointless, worthless, futile life, uh, where he sees absolutely no future, you know. The, the, so he's a 17-year-old version of me, and what he does is he makes the, I guess, the blunder of publicly announcing he is going to kill himself. He's going to commit suicide, and he's going to film it. This is for, uh, I, I guess, <clears throat> in one of his classes, they, uh, the teacher uh, assigns the class to do some sort of video project. Well, he spends his whole fucking life making videos of, of, of his depressed fucking life. And so the teacher, uh, going around, the, it really is a funny scene. The, the beginning of the movie is absolutely hilarious. Uh, you know, going around the room uh, with all of these clueless fucking morons, what they're going to do uh, for their video project. 
uh, <laughs> and, and, and all of these hilarious little things, these, these fucking little clueless moron uh, normie teenagers. And so the teacher gets to him and uh, he basically says, well, uh, I guess I'm going to kill myself on camera. And so he makes the public announcement, uh, you know, to the high school <clears throat> that he's going to commit suicide and filmed his own uh, suicide. However, however it is that he does that, of course, you know, making it, he, he really hadn't thought this out. And so uh, what it, so the movie, what it plays out is, is this, um, uh, is obviously this can of worms that he opens up by publicly announcing uh, that in the near future, I, I don't know how long the class project uh, was, what the deadline on the class project was, you know, all of the various catastrophes, his public announcement of, of killing himself sets off and uh, of course as I predicted I remember uh, <clears throat> you know Rob uh, came in about halfway through the movie and, and I told Rob I, I said you know they're gonna fuck the whole movie up that obviously uh, they can't continue to make suicide a viable option and expect it to go on Netflix or anywhere else. Uh, and that, and, you know, as the movie progresses, <clears throat> it's going to take a decidedly anti-suicide message. And, if, and they're going to have some fucking drippy fucking little uh, whatever, you know. It, it, it's just going to, as the movie gets closer to the end, it, it's just all going to fucking, uh, you, you know... <coughs> just completely fall apart and just become one of these fucking sappy whatever and that's a, obviously guys that is exactly uh, what it uh, exactly <coughs> what happened is uh, in the movie so what I highly advise you do is <clears throat> watch my suicide and, and then just turn the fucking thing off when there's about 30 minutes. When it gets down to the last 30 minutes, just turn the fucking thing off because the entire fucking movie is ruined by it. But it started me thinking of, um, you, you know, first good suicide movies and how few movies glorify suicide. Now, I, 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 don't, I can't even come up to that many. How, uh, help me out here, guys. I want, some, uh, I want some suggestions of some movies that uh, treat suicide uh, like, like any other subject should be cheated. And it's, of course, Thelma and Louise uh, is the is probably the greatest glorification of suicide. Uh, probably the greatest anti-Hollywood ending when uh, Thelma and Louise take themselves out. Uh, and and I don't know, you know, well, I, I'm sure I'm not doing a spoiler alert. I don't know if the ending to Thelma and Louise was a nod to another one of the all-time great suicide movies, which of course was Harold and Maude. Uh, anybody, uh, any fan of suicide who has not seen Harold and Maude um, is a, uh, it, you, you really need to fix that. So Harold and Maude, now of course, where Harold and Maude fucked up was the last, the very last, not 30 minutes, but 30 seconds. And again, I don't think I'm giving a spoiler alert. So Maude 
you know, does commit suicide. So uh, she does fucking take herself out. And then, you know, all through the movie, uh, Harold, <coughs> you know, from the very first opening scene in the movie, uh, he is faking his suicide, you know, to call attention to himself. He, 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 he fakes his suicides. It's really fucking hilarious. So then Maud, you know, his girlfriend, really does fucking uh, kill herself. And then, so, uh, you know, basically when, uh, when Harold learns that his girlfriend ha has had more balls than he did, so what he does is he takes his car kind of like Thelma and Louise did and, and runs it off a uh, runs it off a cliff out there off of Highway 1 outside of Santa Cruz, California. You know, he, he goes flying off the cliff in his car to this uh, Cat Stevens song. What was the Cat Stevens song in the end of Harold and Maude? But where they fucked it up, what they should have shown is after all of him, you know, faking his suicides, the very last time, <clears throat> you know, when he ran his car off the cliff in this fiery crash, kind of like Harold, kind of like Thelma and Louise took themselves out, uh, they fucked it up in the last 30 seconds because, of course, they showed that he was not in the car and that he did not kill himself, what they should have done is cut, the, is cut off that last 20 seconds of fucking bullshit and let the viewer decide did he or did he not kill himself. They, they, they totally fucked uh, the whole movie up in, in the last 20 fucking seconds. With that, they had to get that little fucking Hollywood ending. I mean, they let fucking Maud off herself. Uh, anyway, they should have at least left it up to the fucking viewer, did he or did he not? Uh, so we could have had some debate, but no, they had to. Just like in fucking My Suicide, they had to fuck it up at the end, like so many of these. And, um... Uh, you know, started thinking me, you know, about other famous suicides. I was, how old was, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of people in there, Hemingway, how old was Ernest Hemingway when he finally uh, had had enough of, what, it, what did he say in his suicide note about the black days uh, you know, his suicide note, like most things, was very sparsely. It said something about finally he had just had enough of the, the I think, the black days. I'll have to look up uh, Hemingway's suicide. And I, was he 63 or 64 years old? I think that he, I, I'm thinking that Hemingway was 64, the more I think about it, but I'm 95% sure that uh, our, my, my hero, uh, of course, uh, no, no discussion of uh, suicides of the Doomosphere would be complete without Michael Rupert. I'm pretty sure that Michael Rupert was 63 before he took himself out and of course I've mentioned this before you can find it on YouTube you know his his final uh, post he was having uh, you know he was doing his lifeboat radio hour uh, and he was actually talking to Carolyn Baker Carolyn Baker was the uh, last person to ever uh, speak with Michael Rupert right before he blew his fucking brains out. You can hear, I'm pretty sure that interview from the Lifeboat Hour, the, the last uh, radio show with uh, Michael Rupert is still up here on YouTube, or at least the last, you know, the closing 10 minutes of it, where you're listening to, looking for, listening for any sign. 
he did drop some veiled reference. He said something in there. Uh, I'm trying to remember the context about getting a gun and firing it. He, well, the, 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 I can't remember the exact context when he talked about getting a gun and firing it, which might have been a little bit of a hint, but by and large, you know, you, you hear him closing out his show, he just sounds like his regular, his regular self, uh, you know, talking about all the things they still had to talk about, and, uh, you know, basically how, see you next week. And, uh, and apparently he, uh, he signed off uh, his radio show, which I guess, obviously, he wasn't doing it from the, the, this uh, trailer that he lived in. So wherever he did his radio show, I guess he signed off and uh, got in the car with his dog, Patches, and uh, drove back. Uh, to his trailer, uh, you know, in Sonoma County, California on a Sunday evening and stepped out of his car and got a gun and fired it and blew his fucking brains out. But he didn't... I, I honestly can't remember if Micah Rupert left a suicide note or not. Uh, I honestly, to this minute, don't know if uh, if Mike left a suicide note when he uh, exercised his choice as a as a freedom loving American, uh, just as Ernest Hemingway did to blow his fucking brains out. If you want to blow your fucking brains out, blow your fucking brains out. If you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. This is a free country. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, publicly announcing your suicide, that takes balls, guys. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I, I would never publicly announce my suicide. You know, uh, three times in my life, I have been right up, you know, right up uh, to the point. Uh, and if I had publicly announced uh, that I that I was going to fucking kill myself, my guess is that public announcement would have been what pushed me over the edge, and uh, because it would have just been the you know what I'm saying. Uh, just the final straw. Well, I, I well I've made the announcement, and uh, <laughs> and 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 fucking killing yourself takes balls, guys. Y you know, um, there are you know I'm always joking, but it's not a joke. There there, there there's two reasons that I have not killed myself. And that uh, my guess is that I probably won't kill myself as much as I wish that I were fucking dead. But I see that my fucking birthday wish one more time did not come up. And, you know, before I went to bed last night, uh, like I do pretty much every night, but especially on my birthday. You know, I went to bed last night and I said, okay, universe, one more time. There is one fucking thing I want for my birthday. I want to fucking lie down in this fucking bed and never wake up again. Well, here I am, guys. Obviously, that didn't happen. I'm fucking awake. Uh, one more time, the fucking universe uh, did not give me what I wanted for my fucking birthday. Uh, so anyway, uh, it looks like uh, if, if I'm going to die in this bed, it's going to have to be by my own hand. But there's the, the, there's two reasons that I'm not killing myself. Uh, and one is, and this is no fucking joke, is that there is just enough, uh, there is just enough goddamn circumstantial evidence for reincarnation. 
and you know the very thought uh, uh, of coming you know of being reincarnated as a newborn infant uh, in the 21st century and particularly when three out of four uh, people being born on this planet from here on out are going to be born in fucking sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, I have not ruled out reincarnation. If there's a three in four chance, I'm going to be reborn as a fucking, uh, a, 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 as a fucking uh, newborn baby in sub-Saharan Africa in the fucking 21st century is as is, is miserable as my fucking life is, as depressed as I fucking am, as suicidal as I fucking am, compared to that, you know, fuck. And, and of course, the other reason, guys, it, it, it takes some fucking balls. All this bullshit, you know. It was one, you know, one of the people in this movie last night. Uh, anyone who says uh, uh, that a someone fucking killing themselves is a coward, yeah, right. Obviously, anybody, any clueless fucking moron to, to make such an absurd claim that suicide is a cowardly act obviously ha has never been right up to that point where I have been three times in my life and uh, where millions of people have been up to and uh, it, it separates the fucking men from the boys. It takes fucking balls to uh, fucking pull that trigger or, uh, or put that uh, loop around your neck or, or swallow that bottle of pills or run that fucking uh, car off that cliff. Takes more fucking balls uh, than I have. And, and, and if you haven't done it yourself, uh, it takes more balls than you have. Uh, I admit. Uh, it, it, it takes it takes more balls than I have, obviously, or I would have fucking done it. I would have done it three fucking times if I'd had the fucking balls. But I'm 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 a chicken shit, and uh, I'm too fucking chicken shit uh, to fucking kill myself. Uh, I, you know, just just the act, and, and then the absolute. Uh, terror of thinking coming back uh, to this fucking planet that I wish I'd never fucking been born on the fucking first time. Uh, you're goddamn straight. And but but uh, anyway, guys, I uh, now I probably will film it. Okay, but uh, you know, I mean, if you film your own suicide, I'm I'm a little unclear about who's going to post the fucking video. Although there is that video, is it still on YouTube? That politician, someone help me out here. Uh, you know that politician who lost the election and uh, goes up there to his, uh, you, you know, to the whatever, his election defeat party and pulls out that fucking gun and sticks it in his mouth and blows his fucking head off uh, while the cameras are rolling. And I think uh, that video is still up on YouTube. And there's one of a female newscaster uh, I remember from years, I remember in journalism school watching this video where the, uh, this female newscaster, it, 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 and she was fucking hilarious right to the end saying something like, you know, she's wrapping up, she goes in there and she does her fucking newscast. And, uh, and 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 she's like wrapping up, and you know how they do that funny little, you know that cute little thing to wrap up the newscast on the mainstream media. Uh, and instead of that, she goes, "Well, here's something that I bet you've never seen before." And she pulls a fucking gun out and blows her fucking brains out on uh, on live TV. Don't know if that YouTube video is up. Put in newscaster uh, committing suicide 
that took some fucking balls. But, uh, so if I do feel myself uh, committing suicide, uh, who is going to, uh, who wants to post the video? Is there any YouTuber out there uh, who I can depend on to uh, post the video of me killing myself? Now, it's pro all it's probably going to be is me, uh, you know, taking some fucking fentanyl if I can ever find... You know, I was reading some article today uh, about two people overdosing on fentanyl. And I have no more idea how to get my fucking hands on any fentanyl uh, than I, I would have an easier time right now uh, going out in, in, in Ithaca, New York and, and finding 500 different guns to blow my fucking brains out. I have no idea how to get my fucking hands on some fentanyl. But that's probably, it wouldn't be a very exciting, uh, it wouldn't be a very exciting video. It would be me uh, lying down in my fucking bed at night, taking some fucking fentanyl and saying, thank you, universe. And you would see me uh, lying down and probably in this very bed and, and going to fucking sleep and not fucking waking up. So it would be a pretty boring video. But anyway, uh, this is what I'm doing with my day. Uh, so now I have been in this bed for 13 hours, and uh, I guess I am getting a little bit hungry. So somehow, you know... Uh, Brother JJ, uh, the one in New York, was just, you know, asking, you know, trying to figure out what, what the fuck uh, is going on with my great birthday uh, gathering here this weekend. Uh, now that the now that the fucking Corona panic fucked it up for all of us, and, and I just uh, e e emailed uh, JJ and I, I said, brother, I, I said I don't have the fucking energy to get out of this fucking bed and make it to the coffee pot in the fucking kitchen and back again. Uh, you know, my, my goal right now is to somehow find the fucking energy to climb out from under these covers and, uh, and, 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 and manage to make myself a fucking cup of coffee. And I guess if I can do that, uh, the fucking day has been a success. Till uh, my next Netflix movie begins. Anyway, what does the goddamn creek look like out there? Amazingly, the creek isn't coming up very much. Doesn't look like a flash flood today, at least. Hurricane Sam, give us your best shot. What a fucking day. Oh my God.